Surviving Mars. After technical difficulties. Uh, thank you, Cool Eagle, for that sub. Thank you so much, Cool Eagle. Once again, welcome to Trojet. Welcome to Izzy. Welcome to Angel Mott. Uh, welcome to Vashir. Welcome even to Cool Eagle. Despite my better intentions. Uh, thank you so much for that sub, Cool Eagle. And once again, faces. All the faces for the Cool Eagle. Um, you don't, but you're on mobile. See if you can refresh on mobile, Tro's Jet. Uh, that should be a thing. Um, you don't either. Izzy, wait. You'll be back. Okay. that's That sounds rather Terminator-esque to me. So, Surviving Mars. Once again, I have my coffee. <laughs> it's a... It's been a crazy evening, but uh, and I don't know at all what I'm doing. I don't know at all what I'm doing. So, but uh, good, it's working. Mosier, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Okay, so it's a game about establishing a colony on Mars. It's it's very it's fairly civ like. Uh, there are other colonies on the planet also trying to establish themselves. You can trade with them, but mostly you're building a colony. Um, I have no idea at all what I'm doing. Um, Mosier did some research, and whether or not there's an end remains to be seen. I think depending on the scenario you pick, you get certain end goals. You get end win conditions. Uh, also, you can end the game by your colony failing. So, and everyone dying, which is great. Uh, that's what Cool Eagle does a lot. Um, how is that any different than normal? <laughs> Welcome back, Izzy. Uh, I wonder if it'll let me replay the sub notification. Probably not. No, because I don't have that open. Uh, so I am going to do the tutorial, uh, and we, but we'll probably do the Green Planet run because I think terraforming is cool. Also, you know, who needs, you know, native bacterial life? Well, let's do the tutorial. The basics. I, okay, so uh, back when I first considered playing this game, I did some on one of my, I did the first three tutorials on my other, on my laptop in a hotel room when, during work travel. So, but I've forgotten all of it. So, you hate sandworms. Tom wants to know if there are sandworms. I have not seen sandworms. I've seen weird crystals. So let's, let's, let's start the tutorials over. I also hate sandworms. I do not like any of the Tremors movies at all. I hate, I don't like them. Oh, something's happening. Welcome so to Mars. Ah, well, thank you. Welcome to Mars. In this training exercise, you will learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface, how to construct a small base and how to refuel a rocket in order to send it back to Earth. Let's get started. Effect achievements are disabled during all tutorials. You love tremors? Your face must flow as a bam. Dune? Praise Shalu. No! Mosier. Okay, here we go. That's a hint. Please dismiss this hint to continue. Zoom in towards the suggested landing site. Oh, here. What? Oh, what? That's a zoomity zoom. Okay, so W A S and so I zoom in. That's the, oh, that's all the way. Oh, it's either or. It's not. No, I wanted to pan. What do you? Stop jumping ahead. Uh, proceed by selecting the pinned icon representing the rocket that is currently in orbit around Mars. Go land the rocket on Mars. Let's, okay, so this is W, A, S, and D. The clickety clack is the goodness, so I need to select the pin. Man, it really wants me to go here. Too far. It's too far. It's too f Fine, we'll do it here. Okay, rocket's landing. Spend too much time with the Canucks, don't you know? No, no, during a work travel. Uh, but I do, I do, I, uh, uh, like poutine. 
graboids. Oh, hey, look, it looks like a shark. Uh, dismiss. Okay. Oh, that music is loud. Is the music too loud for you guys? It's too loud for me. Uh, it's fine. Okay, good. Uh, and we have touchdown. The rocket has landed on Mars. It carries drones, remotely controlled robots, which constitute your construction and resources gathering workforce. Yay, robots! Gathering basic resources for building construction is one of the first things our Martian base needs. Place a metals depot so the drones can begin automatically bringing metals from the scattered surface deposits nearby. Gather five metals in a metals depot. Uh, open the build menu using right click then follow the arrows to choose the metal depot. Alright, so storages, depots of storage. This is... You know what? Evo, thank you for that follow. Welcome, welcome, robot slaves for the robot uprising. Uh, I, I would love to make this an all-robot Martian settlement, but I don't believe that's a thing. See, this says, oh, depot is the type. Dumping site, large dumping site. So we want the depot. We want the metals depot. And I have to place it. So we're going to place it over here. Use the controls on the HUD for the following or the following shortcuts to control the game speed. Space to pause and unpause, plus and minus, okay. Now accelerate the game speed so the drones gather required. Why? I just want to be slow and <sighs> jerk. Okay. Play it three times the normal speed. I, I did it. Oh! Oh! Oh, they're doing it! They're getting it. Where's the Donaire, right, Evo? Go, place a Universal Depot near your rocket. By the way, I said poutine, and Evo magically appeared in chat. Evo is the person who not only introduced me to the Donaire, not only made sure that I had poutine, but also took me to the unholy and delicious combination of Donaire poutine, and it's all his fault, and he is, should be thanked for it. It's amazing. Sometimes you gotta shut off the air in the child dome. Like, you did that at least once. At least once. Robots win every time. Yes, they do. Hey, robots, famous last words. Uh, oh, you guys are just, look at this. Look, I just brought the horse to water. This horse likes poutine. And donairs. Unload the payload. You unload, listen. I'm trying to actually pay attention to chat for once. Mosier. Mosier. Mosier, take those faces. Uh, our rocket carries right. <laughs> Evo, what did Skipford say about me? Only that you were tall, Cool Eagle. <laughs> Only that you were tall. He was talking shit about me, wasn't he? Uh, what's talk taking so long in the unloading the payload? Evo, I'm talking to you. That's the problem here. I'm talking to you and about you. Uh, is the worst it's for once. Yes, I'm not ignoring chat for once. Shut up, you guys. Shut up. Uh, here's valuable resources that will be essential for the construction, maintenance of the colony. Pfft, who needs resources? Uh, initially, it's best to designate a universal depot so the drones have a place to store them. All right. I mean, sure. Uh, no, we want... Oh, no, right-click... Universal Depot. You should, I want to put it in a straight line. Bam. Okay. So, already I notice it's not saying, good, you did it! Congrats! It just goes, bam, you done it! Next one. Just r moves right on, snatches you right out of watching the robots go. Uh, this isn't Noida. No, Kev, this isn't Noida, nor will it be Noida. <laughs> it's not it. Uh, I did say that Cool Eagle was tall. Yes, for the longest time I thought I was average height. What? Are you unloaded yet? No, Izzy. No, and I'm going to take longer now that you're asking. Uh, <laughs> don't come to Minnesota, Skip. You may be scared. Why? Because of tall people? Uh, I've been in Minnesota. Well, I've been in the airport. I haven't been out of the airport in Minnesota. 
All right, a concrete extractor building must be placed over or within proximity of a concrete deposit. That makes sense. Um, can I just go back to normal speed? Thanks. Uh, so I want to build a con... Ah, green arrows, help me. Uh, extract sulfurous rich regolith from the concrete deposits and produces concrete. All extractors raise dust, resulting in more frequent maintenance for buildings in the gray area. Great pollution. It's like I'm playing Factorio. All right, so this, I'm guessing, is that a... Oh, it wants me to place cancel. Ooh, or oh, rotate. Do do do. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, hold shift to place multiple. That'll be cool later on. Do do. I just should I put it where here where it wants to? Should I should I put it? Should I should I put it? Here? Okay. I'll just well. Oh, all right. I slowed it down and now the game's complaining that I slowed it down. Right there, it's complaining that it mowed your, yay, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm digging for concrete. All right, we'll dismiss this and we'll speed up the game. All right, that's like most Paradox style games. I just do that to move, I can, I can wazd all over the place if I want to. <laughs> it sounds gross. Uh. Uh, I'm impressed though Skiffer ate everything we put in front of him and didn't even have to take advantage of the free health care. That's true. Build the space bar already. I've got one on my keyboard. Uh, your colonists are going to start cannibalisms. Only at the behest of their robot overlords. Like... Uh, getting wazed sounds like an apple kink. Wozniak! Wozniak! Uh, st Sterling generators are excellent power sources, but they are too complex to be built on Mars during the early stages of our colonization effort. Colonization effort. That is why we ship them from Earth partially assembled in prefabs. Prefabs, prefab, 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 prefabs do not require any resources, only drones to unpack and assemble them. We provided you with a sterling generator prefab. Goal, construct a sterling generator and then connect it to the concrete extractor with a power cable or place the sterling generator adjacent to the concrete extractor for a direct connection. I prefer direct connections. Just go, just stop it. Power, sterling. Well, I'm gonna wanna put my dome so we can just Anywhere in the in the zone, right? Or do I, oh no, I want a direct connection. Let me put it there. Is that not direct enough? Oh, I've got to wait for it to be built. One robot. Listen, and I'm even going at full speed. There it goes. Boom. Waste rock is a byproduct of all extractors and is best stored at designated locations. This way you can ensure that it will not be in the way of future construction. The amount of waste rock per resource extracted depends on the grade of the resource deposit. Okay, that makes sense. You can select a resource deposit to view its grade and the amount of resources remaining in it. Place a dumping site in a concrete depot to store the extracted concrete. Uh... Oh wow, you guys are talking a lot. Um, there's actually a place on the map where you could just be robots and never have colonists show up. Nice. Sterling stuff too hard to make here, you dumb dumb. Your face is not direct enough. Wait, what? Gonna get mighty dusty there. Sounds too good for Skip Died. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you guys. Okay, look. Okay. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright. So, waste rock, concrete depot, and dumping site. We want a concrete depot. Universal Depot, we want a Concrete Depot. That's huge. Oh no, we want to put the Concrete Depot with the other Depots. Over there. And we want to put the Dumping Site. Put the Dumping Site. Right uh, next to the landing. There we go. 
drones will pick pecking tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. Okay. Currently, all drones are assigned to the rocket. When the rocket is selected, the work range of all drones assigned to it will be visualized. If the rocket takes off, however, all these drones will need another controller. Build a drone hub and make sure it is supplied with power. All right, so that's, I see. So that's actually quite outside the range. I may need more than one drone hub. So we want infrastructure. Okay, drone hub. We want it supplied with power, so we're going to put it right over here. Something, something, face, something, something, dumping site. Quick, ban him before he can get away. What? Wish I could stick around and watch it, but, but the pixels are calling me. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I missed some stuff. Hold on. Uh, Vashir, just start banning people till text gets to a manageable level. That's, this is not a cool Eagle stream. I mean, <laughs> start with Kegel. Uh, I do wish I could, uh, yeah, you know what, I, Cool Eagle can go, I'm not gonna ban him, he's an alright guy, it's just he's a little tall, uh, or burn the drones with the rock, I don't know, you guys are mean, drones run on batteries, they have to be recharged periodically, elbows, mm, elbows, uh, <laughs> every drone hub has two recharge stations built in, but you might need additional ones as the colony spreads out. Constructing restart recharge stations, especially along areas with heavy drone activity, will prove vital for maintaining an efficient workforce. Goal: build a recharge station near the concrete extractor. Why? There's, the thing is here near the concrete. You son of a! All right, recharge station. Oh, it's got to be. I'll get power to it eventually, but actually, I should probably put it. I want to put it over there, but we'll put it here. And then we'll supply some power. I need power. No, I need power cables. So I can do what? Shift. Do, 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 do. No, okay, that's that should do it. Nope, nope, stop it. All right, there we go. Oh, they're building it. Okay, it's getting built. I think. I don't know what this white area is, though. I'm not sure about it. Maintaining a steady supply chain between Earth and Mars is essential. Bye, Cool Eagle. Love you too. Uh, especially during the early colonization, every rocket has enough fuel for a one-way trip to Mars. It has to be refueled on site, so it can return to Earth and be reused. Fuel is produced in a fuel refinery. To set up the production chain, we also we will also need water. Build a moisture vaporator and then a fuel refinery. All right, we'll put those. We're gonna put the moist. The, we'll put them. All, well, you know, we'll put them right over here. What? What the? Hey, this is just a tutorial, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, ah, life support moisture vaporator. Oh. Oh, that's a piping. Okay, so we want to rotate. We'll do it. We'll do it this way. We'll put it down here. No, we want to put it up because we need the range. Put it here, and then we're gonna put the fuel refinery. Right next to it. Boom. And then we're going to put the power, we need power lines. And so we're going to build power cables. Can we go from one building to another building that aren't the, can we do this? Yes, we can. All right, so that'll get it powered. And hopefully connect the piperinos. We just have to wait for it to actually happen.
Uh, you getting some moisture, farmers? Oh dear, like frickin' Lars and Bear. <laughs> Moist farmers? Ah, oh, Izzy, why? Owen, where the heck did Lars come from? What, Mosier, what are you talking about? Insufficient power. We don't have sufficient power for all the buildings of the colony. Luckily, we have an extra Sterling generator prefab we could use. Build a new Sterling generator along the power network. Well, you know what I'm gonna do because I'm awesome like that. Uh, we need another Sterling generator. We're gonna put it right next to the first one because we group our shit. We'll put it here. What? There we go. Worst colony. Ah! Used to deliver resources such as water and air where they are needed. Moisture evaporator has to be connected with pipes to the fuel refinery. Uh, except I laid them on top of each other so they actually shouldn't have to. Ya jerks. Look for the blanks. Like, literally put them on top of each other. Fine. That's it. That's all I should need. What? Wait, no, that, that doesn't look right. How do I cancel? Never mind. I mean, it'll sort of work. <laughs> it'll really work. It's more than it needs to... Oh, God! I couldn't even look at it before the next thing popped up. Lars was the surname. Oh. Dry side. What? <sighs> fuel production is now underway, and the drones will begin to deliver fuel to the rocket. Use the speed controls to increase the game speed so the rocket refuels faster. For the purpose of this tutorial simulation, the rocket needs far less fuel, 5, than it would during normal playthrough. 50. Refuel the rocket. I mean, I'm already on fast. What is the problem here? Select the rocket and check out how much fuel has been delivered. Uh, status, refueling, zero out of five. Well, I don't know why, there's plenty of fuel ge generating. What does that mean? It's got the, yeah, no, it's getting the thing. It's doing the stuff. Oh, it's fueling, okay. What just happened though? What is the no, what's the Ah, yeah, here we are. One out of five, refueling, okay. Trojet's now hosting me. Thank you for that host, Trojet. Welcome, or we're damn it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Any angsty teen working on the droids yet? Not yet. No. Ah. Uh... This is uh, this is a thing that's happening. This is poorly laid out, as is obvious. But uh, it's a tutorial, so oh look at the look at the rock. I wonder if we could use that later for something. If the waste rock is reusable, that'd be cool. Tell me you got this, the Owen and the Barry reference. I did not, Mosier, not at all. Uh, I gotta head off. I still haven't fully recovered from this past weekend. Evo, you get some good rest and get some recovery. That was a fantastic thing you did for Extra Life, and I'm glad to see that you're going to keep streaming. Guys, check out Evo. Mosier, can you put a shout-out in chat for Evo, please? He's amazing. Also, a shout-out in chat for Cool Eagle. He's slightly less amazing. Uh, get, yeah, get a couple of shout-outs. And, and a shout-out for Trojet because he's super amazing. Everybody's amazing, but we need all the shout-outs. But now I'm off to fall asleep. Go ahead, do that. Yeah. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online is what he was playing. He played two 12-hour streams uh, two days in a row uh, for Extra Life. And it was awesome. It was awesome. Tro's Jet. Don't forget the Cool Eagle Mosier. I know we should probably forget him, but let's not this time. Uh, pre select the rocket, press a launch button to send it on its way back towards Earth. Goodbye, Rocket. You suck. Now we find out that, yeah, half of our robots are without... Oh, they all got damaged in the launch. 
I'm gonna start playing Escape from Tarkov on stream here soon, even though I'm absolutely terrible at it. Eh, it's it's. Uh, I mean, if if you have fun with it, do it. But uh, I thought you were gonna stream that uh, that Breath of the Waifus game, Tro's Jet. Congratulations, you have finished the first tutorial. You've learned how to set up a basic outpost on Mars that can gather resources for further expansion and refuel rockets. Using rockets to bring in additional supplies from Earth is, an es is essential for a fledgling colony. Play next tutorial. Rovers, let's go to main menu. I just want to make sure it's not accidentally skipping. So we'll do exploration. Yay, burned up the droids. That's so, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy about burning up the droids. Uh, just waiting. I'm on the early access list. Nice. Ooh, rovers. Rovers are vehicles with a variety of useful functions like transporting resources, commanding drones, and analyzing anomalies. You have direct control over all rovers in the colony. Yay, robots. Select the RC transport and move it to the designated area. What? Oh, this, this colony looks way better than mine already. I feel like a bad. All right, so select the RC transport. With the RC transport selected, move it with the move interact button in its info or by using right click. Oh, it's doing the, th oh. Use the RC transport to load fuel from the fuel depot in the base, then unload it close to the rocket so that its drones can load it into the rocket. Okay. Drones can also take resources directly from the RC transport if they need them. However, unloading the resources is quicker and will free up the RC transport for other tasks. Load fuel onto the RC transport and unload it next to the rocket. Uh, select RC transport and then right click on the fuel depot. The fuel icon pops up. Click on it to fill all the available space in the RC transport with fuel. Load 30 fuel on the RC transport to continue. Probably gonna... There it goes, it's loading. Uh... <laughs> you guys. Oh! Action and click a spot near the rocket to unload the fuel. So, oh, this is unload, and then here. I did that, What's I did that already, would your green arrow is unnecessary? Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Uh, excuse me one moment, everyone, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I need more cows. I don't need any cows. Cows are vicious creatures. All right, wait for the drones to bring the fuel inside the rocket, then select the rocket and launch it. Oh, this needs 30 to launch instead of 50. But it's doing the thing. Oh, it's ready to go. Let's just fry all the robots and my RC craft. What could possibly go wrong? If drones lose their controller, they will look for new controllers nearby. However, when there are no controllers nearby, you'll have to manually reassign them to a new controller. The reassign command also allows you to reassign drones to understaffed controllers with heavy drone load. Assign these drones to the nearby drone hub. Press and hold, click, and then drag to select all four orphan drones. Once selected, use the reassign action to assign them to the drone hub back in the base. 
this. Okay. Okay, send the RC transport to gather some metals from the deposit indicated by the arrow. Gather five metals with the RC transport. All right, that sounds easy. Select the RC transport and use move interact. Commander or simply left click on the deposit. Here it comes. Gather five metals to continue. Well, this tutorial is very um, thorough. A little bit abrupt and startling when you succeed. Got it. Expand. We'll need resources for the new base. The RC transport can be ordered to transfer a large amount of resources in multiple goes via the create transport route command. Set a transport route between the universal storage in the base and the marked location above the main base. All right. Select the rover and use the green transport route. Okay. Create transport route command. Command activate, click the Universal Depot as the starting point of the route. From the pop-up menu, choose to load all resources. Click near the marked area above the main base as the end point of the route. So you do this, so we create a route. Uh, where is the starting point? Universal Depot, where is the Universal Depot? Zoom out. Oh God, that's too far. Ah. Okay, so one, we want to click. Here's the Universal Depot. Load. Uh, select, choose to load all resources. <coughs> Where's load all resources? Rename, unpinned. Polymers, it's all already checked. Can I just do that? Is that about 30? I don't know. No. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, I did it wrong. Oh, God. Why? Okay. We go back to our duder. Where's our duder? Where are you? We do this. And now we're going to go in here. Oh, no. We do click the Universal Depot as the starting. Ah, this. I Apparently, I missed it last time. All. And then now we endpoint was here. Nice work. Now observe how the RC transport makes its first course along the transport route. If things take too long, remember to spin up, speed up time. As fast as it can go, guys. Two cows. Oh, I remember two cows. The ultimate collection of Windows shareware. Two cows. So I'm carrying a bunch of resources, as many as possible, and it's going to go and unload them and then go back and do it again. Oh, you have cow emotes. Of course you do. Was it from Flint? Two Cows was from Flint? It's Mars when they, they wouldn't have to be mutant cows, Angel Mott. I mean, I guess it, I mean, it would follow with the radiation that you're likely getting pelted with, which is why we're using drones and doing this remotely. Commander, one thing. The RC Commander is a mobile drone controller that carries its own drones. With its help, you can gather resources from surface deposits and construct and maintain buildings. When moving far distances, the RC commander will first recall its drones before moving off to its destination. Move the RC commander to the site of the expand. Oh, this is the RC commander. Number one, remote controlled vehicle that transports, commands, and repairs drones. We're gonna move you over to the expand. Nope, nope, I did it wrong. Stop it. 
this one there so now it's sucking up its drones and it's gonna yep it's moving over there uh, company employed 30 employees in Flint in 1998 wow I wasn't even aware that two cows was out of Flint that's crazy additional employees in Canada I had no idea that's amazing he gets two cows but not Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru yeah Oh. Your face needs a sensor tower. Use the resources that the RC Transport delivered to build and power a new sensor tower that will help us scan the nearby locations for resources and anomalies. Okay, great. Construct a sensor tower and a Sterling generator to power it. All right. Sensor tower and a Sterling generator to power it. Make sure that they are connected. All right. Uh, that's supposed to be my build menu, isn't it? Oh, no, I have you. Why do I have you selected? I don't want you selected. You, you go over here. Can I unselect you? There we go. Nope, that's not at all what I wanted to do. How do I? No, that's also not what I want. Okay. Put you there. Stay. I'm supposed to right click, right? What is this? Oh, build menu. Okay, we're just gonna have to click on that now. Sensor tower. You're very specific about where you want this game. And now we need to construct a Sterling generator. Uh, power. Sterling generator right nearby. Good job. The construction may take some time until the RC transport delivers all the needed resources for the sensor tower and the Sterling generator, which is why we're on fastest mode. I would never ignore chat. What? He's too... Owen is Anakin's step... Oh! Uncle Owen, right. He was... I'm always on top of chat. You can scan new sectors to discover more resource deposits and anomalies. Okay. This is done for the map overview. Go to the map overview. Okay. There are two main ways to scan. One is to queue sectors for scanning. These sectors will be scanned one by one gradually over time. Sensor towers speed up the scanning process of sectors near them. The other way is to use probes... <laughs> probing uh, which you can buy using funding and bring on resupply rockets from earth use a probe to explore a sector uh, probe orbital probe immediately scans a sector for deposits and anomalies deep scanning of the sector is not possible with the current technology deploy select sector so also queue sectors for uh, uh, right left click on a sector to add it to the scanning queue you can up to 10 sectors for scanning uh, on a queued let right click on the queued sector to remove it okay e4 to continue you can always speed up time yeah i can also queue there socket trebek i can do queuing The moisture, f yes, I know he's a moisture farmer. Oh, guys, you can't see it in the camera, but I put together my uh, 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 first order TIE fighter that I got for Christmas last year. Finally got it put together, and it's up on. So you could see the, the TIE fighter, Lego TIE fighter behind me. That one's from Solo. It's the Solo era. You see the next bookshelf, there's a third bookshelf there, and on top of that one, facing the other direction, is the is the first order. When, oh, you guys saw it, you guys saw it, I, it fell apart on stream, that's right. That's right. Uh, select the RC Explorer to use the move interact. This is a very busy weekend, you guys, that's the excuse I'm going with. To analyze the anomaly. Right click the anomaly to scan it. So this, do this. And then do this. 
RC Explorer sets away the anomaly. Wait for it to analyze the anomaly to continue. Zorp. Zorp. It's an eyeball. It's the all-seeing eyeball. It's Sauron. Sauron's returned. You need purple lights behind you. Well, I'm, I'm considering buying some solar power purple lights for my balcony. It was busy. It was a very busy weekend. Uh... I had the kids for an extra day, which was fantastic. Uh, and then I, but uh, and then I had all three kids for for the the normal part of the weekend. I had, uh, and you guys were here for a lot of the stream with Minecraft, the Minecraft stream that went a little bit crazy pants uh, at the end there. Uh, but there was a bowling, normal bowling league day. There was a bowling tournament, and of course that Thursday was Halloween and they came directly here from Halloween. Uh, and so Friday was work and then uh, going to pick up uh, the oldest of the younger children. And then Saturday was bowling. And then uh, we did do a little bit of calm down here Saturday. And then, uh, then we went and hung out with my parents for dinner. And then we did the Minecraft stream. And then Sunday was a bowling tournament and then we went uh, to Lansing and hung out with Izzy. And then after that, we dropped off the kids. It was just, it was very full. It seems like less when I say it like that, but it was very, very full. The, an the anomaly has yielded interesting insights to, into new technologies. Researching new technologies unlocks new options for the colony, such as new buildings, domes, and upgrades. Anomalies often, often provide bonuses to research, such as unlocking new technologies for research or providing research points. Open the research screen. I like. Oh, what is this? Texts are divided into five basic fields and a field for special breakthrough text. When you research a tech from a given basic field, you will unlock new tech in that field. Breakthrough texts are special, unique texts that are unlocked via anomalies. Cue at least one technology for research. Of course, it's got to be engineering. Why well, wouldn't? Each tech has a cost and research points, which are generated in various ways. Your sponsor provides some research points to start with. Once colonists arrive, you will be able to construct research labs, which generate, which generate research points faster. You can view a breakdown of the research points generated per sol on the right side of the research screen. The right side? The research screen? Or do you mean up here? I don't, maybe over here on the left side. Uh, close the research screen to complete this tutorial. Nice work. Okay. Now you know how All right, uh, Skippy got licked by tentacles. I did, we were playing, Izzy, what's the name of that game? It's a very, it's a Cthulhu, it's, it's sort of like, it's, the mechanics are set up a lot like uh, Revenge on uh, House on the Hill, or no, Betrayal on House of the Hill, whatever. It's a, it's a tile game, tile board game. Uh, it's very cool. We have like a long multi, a big campaign going. It's very cool. Uh, power, what was power? What, oh, that's a different one. All right, tutorial. Maintenance. Now it is your job to fix it up and prepare it for the first colonists. In this tutorial, you will learn how to handle power, life support grids, and building maintenance, as well as how to construct your first dome. Huh! First things first, let's remove some unnecessary structures. This concrete extractor has depleted its deposit and will be of no use now. We can salvage some construction materials from it. Salvage the concrete extractor. Select the concrete extractor and press the salvage button in its info panel. This will return some building materials that we can use later. Yeah, it'll also free up the space, I think. Uh, this building will be demolished in one second. Boom, there it goes. Oh. Uh, we need to supply the drone hub with power. The resources from the salvage concrete extractor should be enough to construct a solar panel. It would be best to use the existing power cables to connect the two buildings and avoid wasting more metals on cables. Power the drone hub with the help of the solar panel. Oh, it wants me to put a solar panel there. So we construct 
we do power, we do a solar panel there. Uh, place, uh, yeah. But so that's that's not fully destroyed. If I remember correctly, I have to unlock a tech that will fully destroy the building so that the space is not wasted and can be reused. Uh, Shadow of Brimstone, okay. I'm intrigued, so it's like Arkham Horror in a mine instead of in a town in 1840s instead of 1920s. Yes, but it was, you do go back to town between missions uh, and there's deeper levels where you find crazier things and we're now on an exploration mission so we may find all kinds of crazy stuff as we get deeper in the mines. Um, why isn't it constructing? I did that. Oh, it's just we're on. Oh, we're we're on slow speeds. Okay, that's why. It's oh, it's going to get the materials from the downed thing. I see. That's some nice music. Yeah, oh, there's crazy shit. No, yeah, there was a lot of crazy things. Uh, I'm playing a Yankee. You can change the priority of buildings manually. Buildings on higher priority get power, maintenance, and workers first. Set the drone hub to high priority. Uh, oh, there we go. That's high priority. Cool. Wind turbines are a good alternative to solar panels as they operate day and night. They also get bonus power production if built on high ground. However, wind turbines have a high upkeep cost and require maintenance more often than solar panels. Construct a wind turbine and connect it to the existing power network. Alright, so construct, power, wind turbine. Alright, and... Yeah, oh, more drones are going since they're prioritized for power. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it's a fun game. It's not my general type of thing, but uh, but Izzy convinced me, and I'm glad she did. It's been fantastic. All right, so these drones keep stopping and starting again. Oh, they finished their jobs. Solar panels provide power only during the day and we don't have accumulators to compensate at night. Accumulators, if I remember, are batteries. You could set some of the base buildings to automatically turn off at night using the building's shifts. There are three shifts, first shift, second shift, and night shift. Buildings will require power resources and workers only during their active shifts. Disable the night shifts of the moisture evaporator and fuel refinery. So, oh, here we go, off. Third shift is off. This one, third shift is off. Buildings require maintenance with resources roughly every six or seven sols. Buildings that don't get maintenance break and won't function until repaired. To showcase this, we have simulated a breakdown of your solar panel. Drones will automatically repair this breakdown provided there are enough metals in range of their controller. Examine the broken down solar panel. Uh, the condition of the building is deteriorated, blah, 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 blah. A drone is on the way to repair this building. Okay. We need more metals to secure this base. Use the RC transport to collect some metals and transport them back. Uh, combine a surface metal deposit. Use it to gather 20 to 30 metals and bring them back to the base. You can then use these metals to set up additional solar panels and power up everything. Deliver at least 20 metals to the base with the help of the RC transport. So RC transport, we want to do this. Oh no, it wants me to bring it here. Nope, stop it, Skippy, stop it. So RC transport, here. Make sure we're going fast. Here it comes. Uh... The company makes it better and Jojo. Ho ho, ho ho. His real name is clearly he he. All right, so now I wanna, uh, how did I get it to, oh, load resources. 
Can I just do... Can I... Metals. Where are you going? Oh, okay, good. It's just going to get metals. Look at that wind turbine go. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting the metals. Oh, I remember the resources is low problems. Resources are low. Whoa, whoa. No, it's hee hee or ha he or ho ho or uh, other hostess cake variety. Ho ho, the bandito. <laughs> ho ho stabs things and blows them up with dy thrown dynamite. I'm playing the gunslinger. I shoot things. I'm a shoosty McShooters. And Kev, please explain to Izzy what shoosting is. I had to. I feel I did it poorly on uh, on Sunday, yesterday. That was yesterday. Shut up. Building's not working. Yep. Yeah, that happens with maintenance issues. Oh God, too far. We just wazed it. I keep. Oh, what was that? How did I? Oh, I found two more buttons that'll rotate. Hey, <laughs> cool. It's like, is it full? What's what do we got? We got thirty medals. Perfect. All right. Nope. Nope. I rotated and now I'm lost. There it is. Okay. Nope, stop it. Stop it. Uh, we want to unload resources here. Are you coming? There he goes. Okay. Oh. Using rockets to resupply from Earth is the best way to secure resources early on. You'll need funding to buy the resources, but your sponsor usually will provide you with enough to get a basic colony up and running. Open the resupply screen and order advanced resources from Earth. Resupply screen. Oh my goodness. Cargo rocket. Uh, I've got $9 billion of funding. I want polymers. Uh, how many? Uh, 20 polymers. Oops. 20 polymers. Machine parts and electronics. So 20 of each, I see. And electronics. That neatly uses quite a bit of money and launch the rocket. Okay. Let's do some cleaning up around the base while we wait for the rocket to arrive. The remains of destroyed or salvaged buildings will obstruct other constructions. To clear such ruins, you'll need to research the decommission protocol technology. Ah! I was right! In the engineering field, for the purposes of the simulation, we have provided you with the tech. Clear the ruins of the concrete extractor. Select the ruins and use clear. Here comes the drone. Boom. Now, let's remove some of the unnecessary cables. You use the salvage tools in the build menu to remove cables and pipes, as well as an alternative way to salvage buildings. Remove the cables that were connected to the concrete extractor. Okay. So, why does it tell me select the salvage tool? It's clearly infrastructure, salvage. Clearly, this is set up by a right hander. Starting over here. That's wood jerks. Wait for the arrival of the rocket, then land it near the base. Remember, you can speed up. It's already sped up. Ugh. Wait. Why can't I close that out? Oh, no. What? It's not at all what I wanted to do. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, because I, oh, I deleted it. I didn't mean to delete it. That was an accident. Oh, well. Poop happens. Oh, I have to... It says to click it. Oh, I'm waiting. That's why. But I also can't get rid of the hint. That's fantastic. Waiting. And we're waiting. Anathema, hello, welcome. Still using the delete key. Press right to get rid of the delete option. What? Press right. Right click. Oh. <gasps> Thank you, Anathema. I didn't know you played this game and welcome to stream. Uh, lemmings are attacking. <laughs> of course they are. I have a lot of hours on this game. Nice, nice. I am terribly brand spanking ridiculously new at this. Uh, sector's not yet. You know what? We should la land. Oh, I can't do that because it's uneven. I was like, we should use that because that's where the concrete was. So we should totally use that area. Let's, all right, we'll land it here. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh, little bass beat. You'll be judging. <laughs> well, I'm used to being judged, so it's fine. <laughs> you should meet the rest of my chat. Cool. Let's start with a power accumulator. It allows you to store power for nighttime or emergencies. Keep in mind that accumulators have a capped maximum output, so a single one may not be enough to power all buildings at night. Yeah, I found that out in No Man's Sky. Thanks. Uh, construct a power accumulator and connect it to the power grid. You may want to construct some additional solar panels and wind turbines in advance to sustain the base expansion. Sure. As long as I have enough... Uh, God dang it. These... Alright. It said to do the other thing in advance though, so let's do a couple more wind turbines. Oh, I can squish them together! Neat. I can squish them together by rotating them. Let's get a couple more power, solar power, solar jerk faces, solar panels. Nope. Nope. Yeah. And we want to do another one of these. Boom. And now we want some batteries because I like batteries. So we're going to do batteries. Everybody likes it battery now and again and let's see maybe we can we build two of those I would like to there we go go my drones do it uh wanted to see the lemmings not the most <laughs> you guys what all right so second turbines up that's fantastic what is a solar jerk face? It is a jerk face that is only powered by sunlight and does not operate during the night. Or a jerk face who is a native of a sun. Water is essential for a sustainable Martian colony. Fortunately, there is a water deposit nearby. Hot diggity. Uh, let us build a water extractor near the deposit. All extractors must be placed near a deposit of the corresponding type. Remember to then connect it with power. You may also have to build more power producers to generate the required power. Great! Construct and power a water ex... To construct a water extractor near the water deposit. I mean, I have... Power it up. Have been taking the rest of the tutorial. I mean, follow the green arrow, do the thing, right? That's how this goes. Oh, you want me to... Rotate. Oh, like that. that? I think that's right. Or was it supposed to be on top of the water thing? And then power it up. All right, so now we need to build some power cables, which are gonna take metals, but that's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. What? No, stop it. I also, no, I need another <sighs> power, power 
power cable. Blocking objects. Oh. Of course we don't. Why would we do that? Why would that be built in? Uh, only during dust storms on Mars is there enough wind energy to operate a wind turbine. What? Mosier, are you looking up real science now? Do you mind backseat gaming or not? Uh, so I am going through the tutorial. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I do do my own style, whether you suggest it or not. Helpful hints are fine, but don't expect me to always follow them. I'm not always smart enough to do that, and I will want to discover some things on my own. So I guess, I guess a little bit yes, a little bit no, Anathema. I mean, if it's relevant and appropriate, uh, sure, but uh, uh, just don't go over the top, okay? Keep it to a minimum. Great, perfect, thank you. Construct a water tower and connect it to the water extractor with pipes. NASA was saying solar and wind could, would work together nicely, I see. Or rather, if you have a question, feel free to shoot me. <gasps> I will happily ask you questions. Excellent. All right, so I need to build a flipping water tower. Ah, uh, water. And a water tower. Let's, uh... Ah! Right click gets... Or B. Oh, I like B. Thanks, jerk. I like B better. We'll do B from here on out. And I'm going to... Can we just, can't we all just get along? I mean, I'm still gonna have to connect the pipes, aren't I? So let's put this here and then B pipes. Do that. I don't wanna. We did no. I just want robots. I don't want people here. Ugh. All right. Don't forget to right click after you're done building or doing anything. It will get rid of the selection. Oh, great. That's better than escaping three times, which is what I've been doing. It's hitting escape several times. I will right click. That is much better. Thank you. Uh, do you prefer uh, full anathema or is Anna okay or on? Uh, I don't know. Uh, solar panels covered in dust can't see the sun. Your face can't see the sun. Um, I know, but the tutorial hasn't said to fix those. Uh, first dome. Domes are large superstructures that house colonists. Anna is fine. I use both Anna and MLA. Okay, Emil Amelia? I know you're in Europe. Is that Amelia? French? I know. I'm not. I'm super... Amelia, the second one. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with Anna. It's easier for my silly Anglophone face. Uh, there's the largest superstructures house colonists. You can start many buildings inside domes. Some of them re will require colonists as workforce. Domes of well, limited space be connected via passages to form larger systems. Maybe we can use the people as fuel for our robots, like the Matrix. I would rather just have the robots. Remember to use the RC transport to mine metals and to call resupply rockets if you need advanced resources to finish the dome. A basic dome. Okay. Well, Lord. Use the build menu to construct a basic dome. If you need additional resources, use RC transport. Well, you just said that. Don't need that hint. It's awful. Build. No, stop it. Build menu. Domes. Self-sufficient dome, what? That sounds great, basic dome. I mean, it's already there, okay. So we're gonna build that. Uh, It's more like Amelie. Oh, okay, ish. Harley, hello. Yeah, like I said, I'm a silly Anglophone. Uh, I've, been, uh, I've been told my Japanese accent is decent, but I would never try French or Spanish or any of the Romance languages. That's just... All right, so I have a feeling I'm going to need to collect more stuff for this, but I can't know that ahead of time, can I? What it's going to need. Can I, in the meantime, can I repair this? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that power grid's not connected to anything either. Ruins of an abandoned 
rebuilt. I want to rebuild it. Rebuild. Rebuild. And I want to build power line here, here. Oh, shift. There we go. And right click. Ha! Right click again. Ha ha! There we go. I'm definitely, I believe you. You believe in me, Mosier. Thank you. If you build it, the aliens will invade. That's how that works. Uh, so I think those solar panels got destroyed to did during the dust storm before this tutorial started. The stuff that we're recovering from. Um, how are the batteries doing? Full. Not full, but charging. That's great. Which means I can turn third shift back on and I can turn third shift back on here, which is fantastic. Uh, why is he blinking yellow? Why is that robot blinking yellow? That doesn't look good. What are we, what are we, we got the 10 polymers. Are we gonna need concrete and metal? Is that what we're gonna need? What are we gonna need here? How, want me to answer that? Uh, sure, how do I actually, could you answer how I can predict what I'm gonna need? Also, yes, what's the yellow flashy light for? <laughs> yes, I would like an answer, thank you. I'm so, I'm such a, I'm so, uh, uh, slap happy today. Yellow flashing means he's out of battery. Okay, so it's good to go to recharge. Yellow light seems to go to that building. All right. Going to recharge. Got it. Thanks. The two pads beside the drone station are charging pads. Yes, that I knew. That I learned in the, the drone tutorial. All right. They're, uh, they're here. These are these two pads here and there. They are recharging pads. Looks like at night time, we're, uh, how are we on our power? Discharging. Oh, look at how full those are. That's gonna, are these maintenance? Er, Magard. I speak Dutch, English, and French. I have a lot of ease with language. When I get my meds, I'm adding Korean and Russian to the list. That's amazing that's phenomenal i could i could speak so i took i took japanese in high school and in university and i could speak it i could read it i could sort of write it lefties apparently round things too much it was very my senseis constantly told me that my handwriting was driving them blind um but pattern recognition for what they were saying was always difficult uh, especially once they got going uh, with speaking as it so Japanese doesn't there's no spaces between words when written and sometimes when it's spoken it feels very much like there's no spaces between the words so uh, also I yeah yeah absolutely awesome Anna is that is amazing oh look our power lasted throughout the night yay is our dome Oh, metals. That's we just need a little bit of metals. So we're out of metals. So we need our RC unit to go. And we, where's where's some metals? Where can we get some metals at? What the hell is this? <gasps> what is this? That looks like metals. Is that what that is? Oh no, that's concrete. That's not actually no. Belay that order. Cancel. Oh. Let's just unload it. Unload it. Unload it. No, oh, it's unloading. Okay, good. It's oh, it's just uh, that's fine. There is fine. Uh, I thought that was metals, and I was sorely mistaken. I need to find, I'm guessing these are metallic rocks. 
So I need you to come here. And then I need load resources. Metals. All right. Is it doing it? Or am I doing something wrong? Always want an actual reason to need to learn a language would have made it a lot harder to slack off. Uh, English is messed up, and I'm being reminded of that as my girls learn reading and sounding out words. Your girls are, are, are learning Cantonese, aren't they, Izzy? This is not working. I've done something wrong. Drones. Select a remote control vehicle transports resources from surface deposits. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to... It says loading complete, but there's nothing here. Metals. Aren't there nine, nine tons in that? Oh no, you know what, cancel. Can I cancel that order? Wait, come back here. Nine tones, oh tones. That's not metallic rocks. Well, there's my problem. There is my problem. How do I tell whether a resource... No, stop it, that's not... Belay that order, how do I cancel the orders? All right, look. How do I tell whether a rock is metallic? No. Scattered metals. Ah, aha, I just have to have nothing else selected. And now it's actually doing the thing. Yay! You see the gather resource button. Rocks are always metallic. But those other rocks weren't metallic. I'm confused. All right, so you, we're just gonna fill you up. You're just gonna get all full up. And then which, while that's happening, can we, this is a, oh, that's a metals depot. We'll just take it to the metals depot because uh, how do I queue up an action? Like it's doing this action, how do I queue it up? Like can I, can I, situation all right. You can elaborate. Yes, please, Anna, because the tutorial's not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shift plus button. Perfect. Thank you. Queuing mastered. Just like in Stellaris. Yes, queuing is so good. So good. And even though we're on fastest speed, by the time we're done with the tutorials, it's good. We're gonna be done with our stream, and we'll have to start the actual stream, the actual game, on Wednesday. Oh, Anna, you are a lifesaver. All right. Oh, look! And now the dome's going up. Yay! And now the and now the solar panels are being repaired. What do they need? Yep, they're being repaired. Beauty. So now we're gonna have to wire and pipe to the dome. We have to get the dome water and electricity. Yep. It, who needs air? Who needs? Organic life. Uh, domes require life support, namely water, power, and oxygen. Connect the dome to existing power and water infrastructure. You may need... Where did I lost it? You may need to build additional power producers. I repaired a couple. For oxygen, you will need to construct a MOXIE, a device that extracts oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. Once the MOX... That leaves just carbon. What do you do with the carbon? Anyway, once the Moxie is ready and powered up to uh, connect it to the dome with pipes, it may be wise to build an oxygen storage as well. Provide water, power, and oxygen to the dome. Okay. 
don't want the hint. You just saying what I just said for the love. All right, so if we want to, I think we're going to want to build some more batteries too. Let's build two more batteries. I hope, I don't know, do we have the, we might not have the polymers to do that, but wrong building. Oh, fine, fine. I got to do it your way, Moxie. <laughs> Guys, Guys, our base has Moxie. <laughs> ah, I love it. All right, we're gonna end up having to power the Moxie too, aren't we? That's gonna be a thing. Okay, so we might as well put it. All right, so rotate. Uh, we'll do here. And we want to connect the power. Uh, actually, let's build some pipes. Well, it, yeah, I'm working on it. Thanks. All right, so it's doing that. Let's build some pipes from the water tower. I have to unco over here. Blocking objects. That's going to be oxygen. And that's fine. I think that's going to be... No, I want oxygen storage. I want to... Oh, good lord. Oh, wait. I can rotate. What am I doing? All right. I want... Yes! This. For water. Oh, that right click though. Oh man. All right. Okay. I'm okay. I'm getting getting somewhere. I want to build an oxygen storage moxie oxygen tank. I can't build an oxygen tank. It won't let me build an. Ox it said I should build oxygen storage, and it says, "Oh, but you can't." Have a day. All right then. All right then. We'll just connect it directly if we have to. Oh, uh, that's fine. Why is that? Okay, never mind. So let's try this again. Build pipes. Like this. And that should... Uh, oh, you can just connect the oxygen pipe to the water pipe. Okay, cool. Cool, now we just need to attach power. So the question is, do we build from here all the way over there? I think that actually would be the best way to go to give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Um, and it's generally an extension. Make trees with carbon, what the, what? Oh God, stop it! Game, I can't go over to chat to scroll apparently. Hold on, or scroll back to, uh, Oh, da, 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 da. Concrete will always be in those yellow depots. Metals can either be in underground deposits uh, or will be those rocks over there, Mosier said. Uh, or winning tutorials, surviving Mars with, to win condition. So we go on to Yotan. No, I don't think so. I don't think we're going straight on to Yotan, but thanks. Uh, you should rebuild a concrete depot so the place looks tidy. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, make trees with carbon. Uh... I was just making a joke. Uh, we do have survive. We do have the green expansion, so we will be doing that. Uh, pipes work indiscriminately for being water or air, if that makes sense. It took me so long to get that figured out. Nice, nice, and I did it accidentally. I feel good. I feel good. All right, power. Yeah, I'm gonna connect it from here because I want to give this mess some room. So we're gonna do this. I'm going to go over to power and we're going to go to power cables and we're going to do how do I connect how do I connect water and air go here where does power go all right let's let's just see what we can do power cables we're gonna
Oh, that'll do. We'll do that. Perfect. Uh, hey, Larry. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Skip. I'm super late, but I have had a hell of a migraine, so I was asleep until recently. No, dude. You take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Don't worry about showing up at stream. I'm just happy when you can be here, but you don't know. No. Take care of yourself. If I was talking here, tutorial. I was speaking to a, over here, speaking to a Leru. Or I guess if your chat window's over here, I don't know where your chat window is. Uh, <laughs> uh, mission complete, well done. You have completed the simulation successfully. You have learned how to handle power, water, and oxygen. I think learning how to handle might be a little bit too much credit, but okay. As well as how building maintenance works. You are ready to set up a basic colony. Ready to accept the first human pioneers on Mars. Again, giving me too much credit. Can we just have robots, please? Um, the next tutorial deals with colonists and their needs. Oh, they have so many needs. Uh, you can continue it now or simply start a new game and return later when you're ready to learn more. Play next tutorial. Colonists. We can do this. We can do this. We'll make sure we harass Skippy for you. Wait, who's leaving? Super late, but I have a hell of a migraine. Oh, yeah, yeah, In this tutorial, you'll finally familiarize yourself with the challenges of stating a society on Mars. Listen, just vent them into space, or better yet, better yet, we'll just get transhumanists, and we'll convert them to bots, and it'll be great. Everything done beforehand was a prelude to this very moment, the arrival of the founders. Our first colonists are called Founders. After they set foot on Mars, a trial period meant to test how humans fare on Mars will begin. No more colonists will arrive from Earth until the Founder stage ends. Be care Excuse me. Oh my goodness. That was dinner. Uh, be careful. If all of your colonists die during this period, the mission will be terminated. Best of luck. No pressure. No pressure. They will live over a hundred years. Sleeping took out the majority of the headache, so I'm good for the moment. Good, Ilaru. Ah, uh, uh, people. Oh, it's not what I want. I mean, that assumes I want them here. Living complexes are built inside of the dome. The space within the dome is limited, so each building has to be carefully planned. Construct a living complex at the indicated location. All right. Homes, education, and research. Living complex. Hey, pointy clicky done. Why are my drones not doing it? Oh, here they're coming. I know why. Because I'm on the slow times. Wait, this isn't my colony. These aren't my beautiful... This is not my beautiful wife. This is not my beautiful house. Uh, they will live for like 70 days. <laughs> like the unit in the bottom in souls or solar days. These people live short and scary lives. Their longevity will be a source of envy for those on Earth. Which will lead to the first Mars-Earth conflict. <laughs> Trying to revolt. Passenger rocket. With all the preparations complete, the colony is ready for the arrival of the founders. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Turn, turn them back up to the... We will turn this car around. We will turn this ship right around. Order a passenger rocket from the resupply screen. How about I just order more polymers? Can I just order more pol... Uh, no. Oh, do tell. Colonists are organized by their age, special. I could do an entirely geezer colony. Just like me. Uh, at various traits, you could set desired and undesired traits in every category using the thumbs up and thumbs down icons. And this is where the ableism comes into this game. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's true. Are organized by their age, specialization, various traits. You could set desired and undesired traits in every category using the thumbs up and thumbs down icons. All drunks. That's what Kegel did. He did an all alcoholics group, I think. 
Uh, colonists with more of the desired traits will be aboard the rocket, while colonists with any undesired traits will be rejected. This is some, this is some creepy, guys, this picture? Some eugenics crap going on right here. Eugenics crap right here. Uh, all right, so we no specializations are good. That means they can specialize, specialize later, in my humble opinion. Engineer, botanist, scientist, medic, good. Only the most insane smart people will be willing and allowed to go. Yeah, right? This game was made by people that really, really, really want to be noticed by Elon Musk, senpai, and it irks me to no end, but I absolutely adore the mechanics. Got it. Um... I'm just gonna go with default founders because I'm not doing the the, the Musk Senpai. It's not my deal. But uh, let me let me take this moment to say that were it possible, if I did not have children, I would in a heartbeat take a one-way trip to Mars and be among first colonists, even if it was doomed to failure. I am claustrophobic. I have high anxiety and all sorts of other issues. They'd never let me on the ship. But damn if I don't want to go. But there's what, I mean, that dream, that awesome, amazing dream is here. But my kids are way up here, you guys. So I would never leave my kids ever, ever, ever. Ever. Uh, also, there's a thing about specialization. I can elaborate or leave you to discover for yourself. This thing, let's, let's, uh, uh, yeah, let me know, actually, since I'm about to make a grievous error, probably. Uh, and I go ahead and elaborate, if you don't mind. I would not have the breadth of skill to set to be allowed to go. Mosier, you understand how teaching works, Mosier. Let us have our skip died, please. Oh, uh, fine. All right, look. I already said she could. So, we're good. Um, uh, the only way to specialize is to use universities, which are like mid-tier buildings. Oh, so they don't come right away. If I have non-specialists, so like better use the filters. They're enabled from the start. Oh, I wonder if they need a blacksmith on Mars. So filter, sex, yes, please. Uh, perks, I don't know. Gamer, nine out of 16, back. Uh, specialization. I see. Let's do no, no specialization. I figured uh, no specialization meant like jack of all trades and could do any job. So let's do this back. And now, aha, engineer, scientist, medic, geologist, scientist, scientist, geologist, botanist, medic, scientist, geologist, medic. What else have we got? I think we're going to need another engineer. So I want one botanist. Do we need more than one geolog? Let's actually let's take out a regular scientist and add a second engineer. Do we have a few? We've got. How are we on? Male, female, male, female, other sex. Cool. It's not just male and female. Female, female, male. I think we're female heavy? No, oh, it'll tell me up here. Uh, I think it'll tell me up here? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, no, five, six, six females, six women. And we have a total of 12 colonists, so literally half women. All right, but I need to add, so let's add a male engineer. 
don't worry. Vegan trades vegan, don't worry, they'll tell you. Wow. All right, we'll, we'll add this person in. Why is that locked? Locked passengers will remain selected when the filter changes. What? Uh, they went with a pseudo-biological definition, which somehow is still insulting because it's bioessentialist. Yes. Yes, which is not accurate to gender. But they, they listed it as sex instead of gender, which is odd. Um, there's a third sex, but they're super uncommon. Uh, I'm a might bit good at smithing, and I can make a good pot hook. Nice. Need cows? No, Izzy, we don't need cows. If we pick them, they're locked. If the filter, oh, I see, okay. Launch, do it. Let's get these useless founders. Oh, my nose itches. Construct a hydroponic farm in the grocer. Okay. Okay. So we need to go in here. We need to build. Oh, build? No. What? What the? Build? Hydroponic farm. Let's, uh, let's, you know what? Farming, look, you know what? Farming is good to be right near housing, I think. Let's do that. And let's also construct. Oh, here we go. Dome services, a grocer. Oh, wow. Okay, so that doesn't take too much. And again, we'll put the grocer near the living quarters and near the farm. Seems about right. Hydroponic trays are super useful. Good to know. Oh, these are hydroponic trays, right? This this hydroponic farm? It looks like it's stacked trays. <sighs> Needy jerks. Different services satisfy different interests. Colonists may have. The colonists will feel, oh my God, itches like, oh God. Uh, feel more comfortable inside a dome, which has his interest covered, but you don't need to cover in every interest in a smaller dome. This might not even be possible. If the comfort of colonists falls too low, they may become earth sick and decide to leave Mars and go back to earth. Who wanted yet anyway? Um, However, Martian-born colonists will never get Earth sick. Construct a space bar. Okay, Cool Eagle. Listen, a bar is not nearly as good as a gaming establishment. Open air gym. Casino complex. Yeah. That's great for, oh, see, electronics store. God, I don't want to build a space bar. Then I have to deal with space drunks. All right, we're gonna put the bar on the other side of the habitation so you don't have to walk too far to get your drink on. You could space game at the space bar. Uh, or we're, if we could call the space bar AFKGG, rest in peace AFKGG of San Jose, California. We miss you. Uh, yeah. Still needs people. But we're constructing this alcohol establishment. F, put cows in the bar. No, Izzy! I have, I did bring to the apartment, Izzy, I did bring with me the mad cow disease molecule stuffed animal that you gave me. I still have it. I believe I still have it. I don't think I gave it away during one of the giveaways. Wait for the passenger rocket to arrive and then land it near the dome. I mean, it seems to be here. So, I mean, if we have to land it near the dome, I don't want to land it near the dome. Oh, hey. Let's do it this way so that it, um, 
doesn't raise too too much dust. Oh, guys, I'm so slap happy. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I got dust on my windmills. A new beginning. View message. They need better tread on the boots. That's awful. That's awful. The next 10 sols will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It is now to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and fu the future. Why is capitalism the first thing on that list? Why is it money the first thing right there? Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. Effect, arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to sustain human life because these people adore Elon Musk. All right, you already said that. Gotta justify the cost of going to Mars. No, no, human advancement justifies the cost of going to Mars. Redundancy of the human species justifies colonizing Mars. If the Earth implodes or gets struck by Mosier's face, I have been angry for the last 20 years and frustrated, Mosier. That's where I've been for the last 20 years. I've been listening way too much to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Genuinely, you can look at any part of this game and just go, it was done because those people went want to date... <laughs> Musk. Oh no, taxpayers have no stomach for space for the sake of space. The 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 counterpoint that proves your example false, Mosier. Oh, am I dropping frames? No, I don't think so. The counterpoint that disproves your example, I'm a taxpayer and I want to go from Mar to Mar to space for space. Uh, arrival additional con uh, the colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event a first human is born on Mars. If you feel you are up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible with service buildings. New have arrived. Yeah, let's um build menu. I tried. You had a small freeze. Yeah, uh, OBS stuttered for a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Taxpayers don't decide where their money goes, though. That's true. Well, yeah. Our representative, in the States, our representatives are supposed to. They're supposed to listen to us about it, but they don't. This is what I'm good at, as I am of a space. I'm all for it, too, but I feel the vast majority of folks are like, my taxes, yes. Yeah. You know, taxes go to, to infrastructure and advancements of things. Hmm. Uh, taking available jobs automatically, but you could customize their work assignments with the building selected. Notice the three available work shifts on the info panel. Two of them are active with two workers employed at each shift. The more workers assigned to a building, the better the building performs. And there's a typo right there. Initially, however, we won't be needing so many people working at the space bar as there will be other important jobs to fill and limited people to fill them, especially during the founder stage. Disable one job slot in every active shift. I mean, that's pretty easy, right? Uh, births are allowed. No, I want specific. There we go. So, disable. Why did I pick the person of color? No, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. This one? No, I didn't want to stop the work shift. I don't want to, we're firing that dude. No, why is it? Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. It got refilled. Uh, I want to select. No, I don't want to select the colonist. Oh, space bar. Assigned to building, previous colonist, next colonist. Training engineer building a better future for humanity. He's working at a bar. She's working at a bar. <sighs> Disable one. Now, I'm, you know what? I'm going to read the instructions that are right in front of my face. <clears throat> then the building in the dome. Uh, disable one work slot per active shift to the space by following steps. Select the space bar. 
Right click, right click on one of the work slots. Ah. Oh. Until the slot is shown. In, oh, I see. I'm firing so many people, but all I'm trying to do is to, to shut down the shift. That sounds... Some buildings are more effective with workers with a certain specialization. Scientists are the best workers for a research lab. Construct a research lab inside the do dome. Hi, Hidley Ho, I will neighbor. Homes, education, and research. Research lab. Bam. Let's uh, rotate this. Bam. Research lab. Yes. Oh, look how, look at the green on the hydroponics area. It's delicious. Delicious. Ah. Literally unreadable. <laughs> You have to fire them in the spot here that, yeah, I was paying zero attention to the instructions that were blindingly in front of my face. Anna, this is a skippy thing. This is something that I tend to do sometimes. <sighs> Coffee. Don't worry, I do the same. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Colonists don't like to work at night and will lose sanity while doing so. Furthermore, you may activate the heavy workload option with boost the performance of a building during that shift but inflict sanity and health problems on the workers due to increased stress at their job. I think Cool Eagle did that a couple of times. The research lab selected to activate the second work shift. All right, we select the dome, we select the building. Activate the second shift. There we go. Buildings with higher priority will be allocated workers, power, and maintenance. Oh, so it's just not just power. On-site research is very important for long-term prosperity and survival of your colony, so let us prioritize it. Set the priority of the research lab to high. Yeah, I did that for that other building. Okay, I did it. With the research lab up and running, let's begin researching some technologies. The research screen queue at least three of the... Let's find out though, are these... Oh, we can't right now. Are these all scientists? Scientist, engineer. Scientist, scientist, medic, geologist. Botanist, medic. Scientist, scientist, so geologist. All right, so we don't have enough scientists, apparently. Or they're all working at the bar. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Open the research screen using the HUD button. Okay, yes. From the research screen, Q3 of the available technologies. Okay, so obviously biotech, obviously robotics, and uh, physics. All right, I queued it. What, what do you want me to do now? Oh, close. Founder stage will take 10 sols to complete. Be careful if all of your colonists die during this period, the mission will be terminated. Having a baby born on Mars before the end of this period will also complete the founder stage. This can happen if the comfort of your colonists is very high. Inactive work. Okay. But for the purpose of this tutorial, it has already been completed. In the next and final tutorial, you will learn how to manage a larger colony consisting of multiple domes. Oh no. Good night, Izzy. Have a good one. Zoned out, lost track of time, off to bed. All right. A baby in 10 days. What? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have, we have enough time to at least start the next tutorial. So let's do that. Uncomfortable. The problem with the multiple dome idea is that there's more people and not robots. 
That's, as you expand your base and try to obtain various resources scattered across the map, you will inevitably end up with a colony that consists of several domes. This tutorial will introduce you to a lot of the typical situations that you can expect to come up in a big colony. There's, there's the one. Oh! Okay. The complex technology needed for shuttles flying in the thin Martian atmosphere typically must be researched. For the purposes of this tutorial, however, has been already granted to you. Construct a shuttle hub. Wow! And connect it to the power grid. Okay. Shuttle hub. Boom. And I mean, it's the power grid's right there. So we go to power, power cables. That's not too difficult. Probably want to speed it up. Monkey, monkey, I am wearing pants. Hello, monkey, welcome to stream. Fantastic to see you. Fantastic to see you. I am wearing pants and they're not goodies pants. They are my own pants. Uh, much to her chagrin, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> how is it going? Also, there's no exclamation point bang uh, uh, command here. Sorry, monkey. Shadow in the Darkness, hello. This is very strange, SimCity. That's why it's called Surviving Mars. Shadow in the Darkness, hello. Welcome to stream. In the last, you're here for the last like 10, 15 minutes of stream. Uh-huh, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure with my body shape. <laughs> Anna, thank you for that follow. Thank you so much. I raised my coffee mug to you. Well, thank you for that follow. Also very strange, Tropico, correct. Atmospheric traversal vehicle. Yes, Ilero. Workplaces outside the domes. Now that we have operational shuttles, it's time to establish a mining dome. Ooh. Colonists can work in some outside buildings placed close to their domes, such as extractors for metals and rare metals. Since colonists will be needed for the extraction of these underground deposits, it is a good practice to place domes near such deposits, as is the case in this simulation. Goal, construct a rare metals extractor next to the rare metals deposit and connect it to the power grid. Oh, hey, you even outlined the spot where I need to do it. Thanks. So we put this here. And we connect it to the power. Where's my power? There's my power. Uh, let's just... Or you know that is fine. No, what have I done? What have I done? How do I cancel the order? All right, let's pause. How do I... Control click, maybe? No. 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 Uh, that's not what I want. Deactivate, control deactivate all power cables. No, I just wanna, moonshine is my, is it really a coffee mug if there's only vodka? In it? It's coffee in it. I haven't been called Presidente once. That's true. How do I un... Un... How do I pick up the plans for this power that I put down? I don't want to... I don't want to build it. Control, alt, delete, stops. I could... I, sure does. Sure does. I could also alt F4 my way out of it. That'd be fantastic too. That'll work wonders. Thanks, Shadow in the Darkness. All right, let's, no, let, how about we do this? We go here and I wanna, delete does it. Guys, the delete key is a thing. There we go, unpause. And this guy Oh, okay, good, he did the thing, okay. Well, 
Welcome back. You were sorely missed, yes. Alt F4 cancels the power. It certainly does, Mosier. It certainly does. Skippy had to figure out how to delete wires, but I did it! I used the actual delete key. It was fantastic. Oh, the salvage tool. Thanks. That'll work. Okay. Once you've provided a dome with living space, colonists from other domes will be able to resettle in it, provided it is within walkable distance, or there are available shuttles to fly them there. Construct a living complex inside the mining dome. Oh, it even highlighted the thing and the stuff for me. Done. Ugh. What is it with the bars? Everybody loves the space bar. I mean, the startup tech, the startup places are absolutely alcohol centered. I will, that is having, why do you want it there? That doesn't make any sense. But you didn't have me, oh, space for grocer, but no, bot, no uh, food generation? Are you mad? Have you lost your n marbles, Zors? Uh-oh. Uh oh, I got a Steam notification that Cool Eagle is now playing Noita. Kev is over there. That's why he hasn't commented at all in stream. He's watching Cool Eagle and his pixels. That's what's happening. I bet he's lurking here, though. I bet he's lurking. That's problematic. Why don't you let the colonists choose? Select a dome and open the... F oh. Okay. Because we want to make sure that the research dome gets all available scientists, we will also ban scientists from inhabiting this dome. Activate thumbs up for geologists and thumbs down for scientists. Boop and boop. Next dome. So we're going to swap it. And because we want to make sure that the mining dome gets all available geologists, which are best suited for working inside extractor buildings, we will also ban geologists from inhabiting this dome. Uh, fine. I don't like it. But I'm going to do it. Apply. Back. Close. System alert. Deep level gold. Okay. This gets really dwarfy. It does. They're hyper-emphasizing on services because they're essential to a correct functioning colony. Whatever. Uh, slaves to Armog 3, surviving Mars. Let, you got it. <laughs> Colonists can migrate between domes using shuttles or walking when they are positioned close to one another. However, they cannot usually visit buildings in nearby domes on a daily basis unless they are connected to their own dome. To demonstrate dome connections, let's first build a new dome out near our research dome. Construct a dome at the indicated location. I mean, you, what you could do is all the work for me. That's, that's a thing. Oh, it's what you're doing. I'm guessing you're going to want me to, to pipe it, to lay some pipe as it were. Is that a water deposit? Yeah, I need to go from here like this. What am I doing? This is nonsense. What am I doing? I want to build pipes from there to here. And I'm gonna want it connected to power. What do you mean two buildings aren't working? A oh, one building isn't working. Research lab. Why isn't the research lab working? No active research. Are you kidding me right now? 
No active research. Oh, I can't. It won't let me. Fine. Jerk. Simulation. My arse. Uh, it's going to need power as well. Where's our power lines? Oh, I see. They run underneath the pipes. So we can do this. And this. And this. Is blocking objects. What's blocking? Oh, that goes a long ways. All right, so let's not do that. And we're going to take this. Hold on, power cables. We're going to take this power cable and extend it. Oh, yeah, there. There we go. That should power it. Uh, I'll connect something to your dome. Wait, what? What did Monkey say? Wait, geologists and botanists aren't scientists? <laughs> Those poor geologists. What the heck did they ever do to you? <laughs> I'll connect something to your dome, like a boot or something. Hey, my dome needs... Ah... Uh. Okay, it says there's only room for one. It said to construct two, but it's only highlighted. Yes, I did know, but I was using the HUD because I like it. Ross. Yeah, there, I did the thing. I pointed and clicked where you told me to point and clicky. Oh, I see. So this is mostly a living space. Right, we'll be calling it here soon, everybody. He, uh, my dome needs squirrel. Yeah, I. this is going to be fantastic once they start the actual game. We'll see if I can survive a run. <laughs> uh, good. I like that. That's a great idea. That's, I like passages. They're great. Uh domes passage uh it says blocking objects but it says requires a dome <sighs> start in an unoccupied hex oh within one dome and end in such a hex in the oh it's got to take up a dome space Oh, it doesn't actually go through the door. Why, why would it go through a door? That's just silly for it to use the passages that are already there. Why would it do that? That seems ridiculous. Uh, the gates are for drones only. Well, the colony should be for drones only. Uh, Anna, you should have seen my playthrough of uh, Detroit Become Human. You can if you go to my archives. Uh, I love me some robots. Those shuttles are certainly doing their thing, aren't they? Oh, wait. No, I did it. I did the thing. They're built. Oh, no. It's the passage is still being built. Okay. Are we not fast forwarded? There we go. Yay. Now that the two domes are connected, the colonists from the first can start working on the newly built farms in the third dome. The passage will also connect the two domes for the purposes of distributing power, water, and oxygen. I didn't need to... So wait, I can decommission this and decommission this. 
All upgrades become available after specific technologies are researched and have construction costs. Furthermore, some upgrades will increase the resource consumption of the building. Goal, research the extractor amplification tech from the research screen. Yeah, it said that already. Why are you giving me a double hint? All right, close. Wait for the extractor amplification research to complete. So I don't need, I don't need this. Actually, let's go to the tools. Let me go to this. No, it wasn't there. Where was it? It was here. No. No. Where am I missing the... Ah, what did it want me to? I missed that entirely. Uh, which one? There are plenty on Mars, Ilaru. This reminds me of a Doctor Who episode. I have opinions on Detroit Become Human, very negative ones. Ooh, we should talk. I love that game so much. I loved it. What, crop failure? No edible food has been harvested. Your face is a crop failure. So... Whatever. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. That's now lessons were learned. Select a new crop. Microgreens, low yield and slow. It's not automatic. Select the water extractor and then select the indicated upgrade icon. Upgrade, amplify, plus 10 power consumption, plus 25% production. Now wait for drones to bring the resources needed to complete the upgrade. Uh, you can either develop here in private chat. It's up to you, Anna. I mean, we're about to close out the stream for the day, for the evening. Uh, let's see if this will actually finish the so, uh, upgrade has been constructed. All right, let's... Can I save? I can't save. Oh. It offers historical data for various colony metrics, as well as overviews of domes, buildings, colonists, and transportation. Open the command center and try it out. Okay. Oh, funding grid resources. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're losing. Okay. Well, it's nighttime, so that makes sense. Buildings. 110, oh, that counts the buildings inside the domes. Power producers, product, and all of the individual power producing buildings, basic resources, advanced resources, terraforming progress, zero. Waste rocks, 69. Colonists, homeless, unemployed, and problematic, zero. That's good. Okay. Building colors. Can I change this stuff? Terraforming, blue sky, cherry blossom, rainforest, red steel. None of this. I mean, I like this one, but it's too bright. Uh, life support grids. Oh my, oh, oh my. Transportation. Ooh, okay. Colonists, oh my lord. Uh, it's, it's getting to my bedtime. Uh, it's way past Anna's bedtime. She's over on the other side of the Atlantic from us. So I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, okay, we did that. Now what? Oh. Sleep is redundant. It's 0511. <gasps> you are 49 minutes from when I need to wake up in the morning. 
usually. Uh, the team at Mission Control is eager to meet you and serve under your command. The challenge of conquering Mars for the sake of humankind is still a tough one, but with a commander as skillful and resourceful as you, the task seems a bit easier now. The colonization of Mars awaits. Good luck, Commander, and may the cosmos be with you. All right. We finished the tutorials. It's a very malleable sleep schedule, especially now that it's raining and I can't go skating. Oh. Does that sound at all familiar? What? Hello? It's the water creatures in the doomed colony that ended up self-destructing. That does not sound familiar to me. Um, I have a very, well, I have severe sleep apnea, so sleep schedule ends up being a big deal for me. I only mostly only go out at night because cities at night are beautiful. Oh my God, Detroit is so beautiful at night too. Um, anyway, you've been watching on twitch.tv slash skip for J where I stream every Monday and Wednesday around 9 p.m. Eastern time and one day on the weekend. One week later, those videos go live over at YouTube at youtube.com slash skip for J. Oh, it's a Doctor Who episode. I haven't seen it. The Waters of Mars is the episode you're thinking of. I see. Um, YouTube.com slash skip for J. Those videos go up a week later there uh, where they are grouped by game into playlist and ordered chronologically so you can watch the uh, playthrough of the game from beginning to end assuming I finished the game. You can also find me over at DavidMCrampton.com which has my now neglected blog in it and my writery goodness available for purchase. Uh, you can also visit FOFcomic.com which is my webcomic that updated every Monday but is currently on hiatus while I research for an artist that wants to draw lots of robots for commission. Uh, my mission to find that at Halcon failed, so I have to keep searching. Um, you can also find me at PowerlessGaming.com, which is a group of non-toxic gamers looking for other non-toxic gamers. Uh, the Discord is over 700 strong. Only a few of us are streamers. Most of us are just people looking to play games with other non-toxic people. So if that's your bag, go ahead and check it out. Uh, Mosier is doing all sorts of bits. Uh, Kim Stanley Robinson does the best Mars books. Ben Bova close second. All right, well, Mosier has, a pair, has opinions on Mars. This is not a shock to me. Uh, <laughs> at all. At all. Mosier had a hand in creating the webcomic, the ideas behind the webcomic. Anyway, um, you can also find me over at where the fuck, where, where, what, what? I did the web. I did the web comic. I did the blog. I did Powerless. Ray Bradbury. No bueno. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Everywhere else on the internet, you can find me is at wheredefined.me slash at symbol skip for J, uh, including my Discord uh, handle and my Mastodon account and a couple of others. Um, I swear, there's something I'm definitely forgetting in the outro. You'll be streaming Horizon Zero Dawn tomorrow at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. All right, all right, Aleru. Uh, can we get a shout out in chat for Aleru, Mosier? You weren't paying attention, that's fine. I think I got everything. I might, uh, I'm again so out of it right now and I apologize you guys I hope I did okay on the tutorials and we will start on Wednesday on a real playthrough which I will probably die very quickly uh, pants are important I am wearing pants monkey thank you for reminding me about the pants I have my pants on wait hold on I'm wearing pants uh, ladders are also important uh, oh, in case you were wondering, I figured out how to unbug that bug with the story quest in No Man's Sky, so I am proceeding along uh, the Nada and Polo storyline. So I'm actually making progress in the story on No Man's Sky once again. <coughs> I'll go on and said this. Listen. All right, everyone, remember, remember, even when you have to bring humans into your Mars colony instead of just robots, you're awesome, and you've got this. <laughs>